Back, everybody, with the 80th anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor yesterday, we wanted to know a little more about the Aviation Museum. Yeah, lots of visitors in town for the honoring of those at Pearl Harbor, and only fitting we paid a visit to this special place. It is fascinating seeing all these aircraft with so much history here. Yes. So this is our Swamp Ghost. This is an amazing World War II era aircraft. Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum is such a special place. So we are a true battlefield. Unlike some of the other memorials and museums that make up the Pearl Harbor experience, we are housed in two historic hangars that actually survived the attack, and we have artifacts and aircraft from that day. And so when you're here, you're really immersed in the minute by minute of December 7th, 1941. We are so proud to be partnering with Southwest Airlines. This year marks both the 80th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor and the 15th anniversary of the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum. So really special year all around. Southwest Airlines has generously partnered to give us tickets that we are using to fly veterans and the original Rosie the Riveters out here to Hawaii to experience the commemoration activities. We have a whole roster of amazing programs for them and it's just going to be a really special time in American history. Local Makai'i is at the core of what we do. We are a museum. We do, we see ourselves as the stewards of history uh, and that really means making history come alive for everybody. And kids will appreciate it too. Like you said, it's for all ages that come here and look and just can enjoy and learn and have fun while doing it. Exactly. We get a great range of ages and interests here at the museum. So we may have a seven-year-old that wants to fly in our flight simulators, and that's a way we can show kindness to them. We may have a 90-year-old who, you know, lost a brother in the attack here at Pearl Harbor, and giving them a special behind-the-scenes tour is how we can show that kindness to them. So we're really looking to curate a unique and memorable experience for everybody that visits Pearl Harbor, because there is something here for everybody. 2022 is going to be one of our most exciting years. In the early part of the year, we expect to be able to open our Top of the Tower tour. So that is the iconic red and white striped control tower out here on Fort Island. It has never been open to the public before. It's always been a military installation. We have been working for, I think, close to a decade refurbishing this tower, getting it ready for people to enjoy. It's fantastic because when you actually get to the top, you'll be able to take an elevator to the top. You'll be able to see 360 degrees around the entire Pearl Harbor battlefield. So you'll be able to see the memorial. You'll be able to see the Missouri. Missouri, you'll be able to see the Bofin, and you can actually see the entire airstrip um, that used to make this base up, and that was one of the key critical components of the attack. So it's kind of a never-before-seen view of history, and we're so excited to be able to open that. I'll admit I've never been there. Um, but it, what a cool place, especially for, for those of us that are war buffs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've brought this story up a lot of times, uh, talking with my grandfather about the war, but this is just such a historic place and a really cool place to go to. Yeah, the Aviation Museum, you guys, also hosts um, a whole bunch of fundraisers. Yeah. If you guys wanted to um, get involved, uh, keep Hawaii's history alive, mm -hmm. uh, you guys can check that out on online as well. Links to their website will be on our website, kh12.com, shortly after the show. Okay.